Hey everybody, it's Frank and Kevin from Cruising with Wheels and you're watching episode 24 of our Q&A. That's right, we're here again to answer your questions. And if you have questions, we want you to know how you can get them to That's us. That's right. So first and foremost, you can email us. And what's our email address? Email us at cruisingwithwheels at rochester.rr.com. Uh, also, you can Facebook us. Yep. You can tweet us. Yep. You can uh, snap chat us wow what else can they do they can instagram, instagram us so let's get right into the questions that we have for today yep. so we can answer these cruisers right the first question is about cuba what about cuba well, people, people want to know when i get to cuba hopefully still be traveling to cuba um how much can i buy what can i bring back because again on certain things that have always been a question so the question is what are the limitations regarding cigars, cigarettes, and alcohol purchases from Cuba, bringing them back into the United States? Well, uh, right now, currently, because this changes sometimes, yeah. uh, it evolves like everything does. Right now, the answer would be 100 cigars, 200 cigarettes, uh, and one liter of alcohol. And those restrictions are for per person right right so that's what you can bring in that's a lot of smoking <laughs> i don't know i'd rather Two, do more of the alcohol 200 <laughs> cigarettes really isn't a lot of cigarettes if you think about it I because know. it's how many I, to a pack i think there's 20 to, to a, a pack. pack so if you're a pack a day yeah. smoker and, uh, that's 10 isn't days 10 packs to a carton if i remember my uh drugstore training yeah 10 packs, 10 to packs. A carton. so that's a carton so that's a carton of cigarettes yeah. Yeah, wow. When you, when, you, yep. when you condense it like that, it, wow, that's all you're getting. I know. Uh, well, whatever. All right, what's the next question? The next question is, can I cancel my NCL booking and rebook under a different price if I am 90 days from sailing and already paid in full? Mm. Okay. Go ahead, answer the question. <laughs> 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 well, uh, NCL, um, theirs is... I don't a, know the answer. You did the research on that there, one. There's, there's a hun they're 120 days out oh, for yes. final payment. They, can't, they changed yes. when they do final payment. Yeah, we remember mm -hmm. a while ago, it was 90 days right. uh, before sailing when final payment was done, and then they switched it to 120. They want their money earlier. <laughs> um, and, and I so, think that makes them want to lock you in. Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, and of course, but then again, anything with cancellation, you need to know. Uh, I know this is an NCL question, but well, you know, everybody needs to know wherever you're cruise, whoever you're cruising with, that you need to be aware of the cancellation schedule of that cruise line. Right now, also this brings me to another thing, is uh, which we don't have written down on our notes, and that's um, uh, they have different cancellation schedules depending on when you book okay. the cruise. Right. Because I remember our cancellation schedule was different, even though they had changed to the 120 period, right. 20 day period, because we had booked it so far prior. In, right, right, right. So we had booked, yeah, we had booked prior to the change, and we were locked into that 90 days when they changed it to 120. So let's read them about the rate reduction. Yeah, rate reduction. Um, uh, as they said, uh, NCL says as a general policy, once penalties commence, uh, and or once your cruise is paid in full, cruise lines do not allow rate reductions. Mm -hmm. Exceptions to this policy, if any, are at the full discretion of the cruise line. If a rate reduction is allowed for your booking, it will be subject to cruise line policies and fees. And we, we do know of people who have paid in full and found a reduction mm -hmm. and pushed the issue and they yeah, were but like, you don't know if you're going to it's yeah, going to work. Yeah, I mean, our attitude is you never know until you ask. 
but also our attitude is never pay your crews off in full until the last until minute. the last minute so as a general rule of thumb i'm going to tell you how frank and i do it uh because you know rates aren't going to go like this right they're not going to go you're not going to get a 500 dollars rate reduction maybe well but chances awesome. are that's not going <laughs> to happen so um what we do is we generally hold about $200, 2 to $300 yeah. from paying off until that yeah. last minute. <laughs> yeah. So when we say last minute, we get a little nervous. So it's usually like two days prior to final yeah, payment. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, when we're trying to get a hold of Donna, mm -hmm. who's our travel agent, we don't want to be on that last day. We want right because that's a busy day for yes. those travel agents. So yeah, it's like eh, we're gonna give a couple of days grace period, and if she doesn't get back to us, we know she will the next day. Now the second part of um, the question would or the answer would be if you have cruise insurance and a valid reason to use it. Right. Uh, so. But that would be in reference to canceling. Can I cancel yeah, my... Yeah, I know. See, but this but, is just reflective of wanting a better price deal. So you really can't use yeah, the so insurance... you really can't use that. Uh, ...reason and say, you know, I'm going to use my insurance and cancel it and not lose anything. Well, you got to provide a valid reason. why you, not, not just I want a better price. <clears throat> so the next question is, are there casinos on board cruise ships? <laughs> well, you know, for the most part, uh, yeah, casinos are on many ships. Many ships have them, but you know what I found out? Not everyone does. I don't think Disney has casinos. Yeah. I don't think Disney Cruise Lines has casino have casinos. Yeah, and... Uh, and that just might squash <laughs> Frank just, and I going because, on a Disney cruise. Because if a casino is part of your entertainment value for a cruise... Um, then you know, you're, you're going to be like, well, I'm not going on that ship. Uh, but uh, where they where they usually where they do have casinos, uh, most of them provi provide the slot machines, mm -hmm. the table games, you know, blackjack, roulette, uh, card tournaments, slot tournaments, bingo. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, the bingos. But that's really not part of a casino, but. It's Part of it's part of gambling. money gambling. Yeah, right. Uh, if you're going to Hawaii, yeah. don't expect a casino. Yeah, that's part. That's prohibited as part of uh, Hawaii's Hawaii's cruising. Yeah. Uh, so if you're and on, I, it may be, it may be. We're not 100 percent sure, but it may be part of Hawaii itself. Right. Uh, that they but we do know don't that allow the gambling. Pride of America, which is Pride and, of America, does not NCL have a casino. Has no casino on board because again. That's where they do the Hawaiian cruises right. out of. So, and um, you may be on a cruise ship that is in Hawaii, like Carnival mm -hmm, cruises right. to Hawaii, and those ships have casinos right. on them, but they will not be in operation. They'll be shut down. Because they often move right. their cruise uh, ships around. Right. And the other big question regarding casinos is, um, is there smoking or not smoking allowed in the casinos? Now, generally, as a rule of thumb, because you cannot say across the right. board, uh, but generally, as a rule of thumb, it is allowed. Right. Uh, but as the ships are being built and, uh, you know, the thought process about health right. uh, evolves, is, evolves um, and safety, uh, some of the cruise lines yeah. are having separate smoking rooms. Yes, yeah. actual separate enclosed rooms with doors. That, so you have a smoking and a non-smoking, which I find awesome because mm -hmm. in the past, when we've been on cruises, we would roll into the casino and you would see that haze of smoke. And I'd be like, I could only last 10 minutes max and I can't breathe. And I say, mm -hmm. you know, I got to go. So you need to take me out of here. You can come back. It's too smoky. Mm -hmm. And what I find hysterical about that is that you could be sitting at a, I could be sitting at a slot machine and there's a, a label on that machine and it says slash not smoking, but the slot machine next to me says smoking. Yeah, it's funny. It's and it's you know, and that person is like this blowing smoke at me. And I'm on the non smoking machine and I find that just cray cray. So kudos for the new ships that have a separate room. So, what's, so what's the next question? Well the next question is all about um is all about the actual ship 
and it's uh, pretty much about uh, learning the lingo. What does starboard, port, bow, and aft mean? Well, you can click the link above and find out exactly uh, different ship lingo and terms. Frank did a video a right. long time ago and we're going to revisit that at some point. Um, but basically the terms that were in the question all are about direction mm -hmm. and where you are on the ship itself. Right. So we have to start out with bow right. because everything is based on the bow and the bow is actually the front of the ship. Right. Uh, so, from there, once you know that the front of the ship is the bow, uh, the back of the ship is the aft. Okay, so now we have front and back. Now we're going to talk about side to side. Right. So, again, if you're facing the bow, which is the front of the ship, what would starboard be? Starboard is the right side of the ship. So then the left side of the ship would be? The port. There you go. That's it's it. Very easy. So if you know the, where the bow is and you're facing the bow, you'll know you've got right starboard, left port. So we're going to talk about NCL because they have something special that goes on their ship in regards to ship direction and their carpet. And what is that? Well, basically, they have fish on the carpets in the interior hallways mm -hmm. and they swim. They're all swimming forward. They're all swimming towards the bow, so you know what direction the bow is. Right. And every once in a while, and, and you know, on the newer ships, I don't think I've ever seen it. On the older ships I have, there's a red fish. Oh, yes. And that's pointing in the opposite direction, which would be aft. The back of the ship. So you'll know which direction you're going. Right. So if you're looking at your deck plan and you're trying to figure out, I want to get to this restaurant, it's at the front of the ship, where are we? Look down at your carpet in the hallway and you'll see that the direction that the fish are swimming forward is where you want to be the front of the ship. Follow the fish. Mm -hmm. They're also sometimes on the doors. Oh. So on the star starboard, right. uh, starboard and port side, on the doors they'll have the direction of the fish will be always yeah. facing forward. Right. So the bottom line to this is the fish are your friends. That's right. That's right. And always swim upstream. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next question is, what can I do if I get sick on board the ship? Yeah, and that's that's a biggie. Puke? Because, you know, so many, <laughs> there are so many stories. Well, that's kind of the minor sickness, but so many stories about uh, cruisers being airlifted off and really people who fell down and broke their arm. Oh, or, so this is related a, to, like, injury? Yeah, yeah. Or, or, okay. or, or had an attack of an appendix or a gallbladder. What happens if there's a medical emergency? I get sick. Oh, okay. this, this encompasses kind of everything. Yeah, I mean, I took it in a totally... As I always think it is. Well, sick is sickness. different degrees of illness. Right, right, so we're right, going to right, talk right. about all of them. And, and that is all ships have doctors on board in a medical center mm -hmm. to help those people who generically get sick. Um, if now, we probably should tell everybody before we even go into what happens is that if you are on a cruise ship, and you need to seek medical attention from the doctor, you have to pay that. Yeah, that's and not free. Then, and then if you have travel insurance, the travel insurance reimburses you. If that's part of your coverage. If that's part of your coverage. Cruise ships do not take Medicare. Uh, they do not take insurance plans. Right. They, it's cash only. Right. So Charged uh, to your account. Charged to your shipboard account. Yeah. So let's go. Right now, down if, there's the list. A, if there's a very serious medical emergency, uh, a lot of times passengers will be airlifted off the ship to the to the nearest uh, island location, mm -hmm. hospital, or mm -hmm. possibly uh, the ship might make an emergency diversion to uh, the closest port. Again, that's, this is another reason to a purchase. It's a uh, captain issue. This is another reason to purchase yeah. travelers insurance. Right. Because it's at your expense. Right. And it's very often 
very, very expensive. I've heard stories that uh, to be airlifted off the, the cruise ship, it's like $50,000. Yeah, you're paying for $60, that. It's a helicopter that's crew, that's fuel. Now, obviously, if you're that ill, they're going to not stand there and go, I need to get another charge yeah. card. I, I need mean, to get another yeah. charge card. I mean, card. we're talking but heart remember, attack, stroke. I mean, you know, there's a, there's a life emergency right. there. But remember, you're going to have to figure yeah. that out when you get home. That's right. So, travel insurance. Yes, <laughs> I know. And then you have the, yeah, the seasickness, mm -hmm. the tummy aches, yeah. you know, the whatever. And it's, and it's common. Uh, but again, as, as things are evolving, there's so many different seasickness medications. You know, the big oh one God. is the big one is the patch. Uh -huh, the patch. Transdermal patch. That the people bands. Wear. Yeah. The acupressure or, bands. Or, or, and again, we did a whole Herbal video. Herbal remedies. We did a whole video on mm -hmm. sea sickness uh, medications. And a lot of these can be purchased prior to your sailing from your local drugstore. Because you know what? If you get to that medical center and they have the vending machines, how much does one aspirin cost you? A lot. <laughs> How much does one Band-Aid cost you? A lot. <laughs> so yeah. what's the next question on our well, list? Well, the next question is, are cruises all-inclusive? One shot, one price, all-inclusive, like, let's say, an all-inclusive resort on an island would be. Well, Again, it's it not depends. a yes or no answer. Right. It's going to depend on your uh, definition of all-inclusive. Right. So, with my understanding of most all-inclusive resorts, it includes airfare, it right. includes booze, it includes entertainment, food. it includes food, it includes excursion, it includes all that. That's all-inclusive for us. That, that would be all-inclusive So, when for someone us. says to us, oh my God, you need to go here, it's an all-inclusive resort, we're like, you're kidding. Um, so, all-inclusive, so that's... Uh, air, yeah, it's, a, it's an air hotel package. Awesome. Food? Oh, that's included. Liquor? Oh, no, that's not included. Oh, well, that's not all inclusive then. Excursions? Oh, no, that's not included. And we're like, we're looking at you and go, well, that ain't all So it all depends on your definition yeah. of all inclusive. Uh, now, the only cruise line that we know of, well, actually, I should, we shouldn't say that. We had that down because the major brands, right. major brands, of cruise line that are all inclusive would be Virgin Voyages. Right. They're the new kid on the block. The new kid on the block. Um, some Viking cruises, mm -hmm. the river cruises yes. are going to be all inclusive, but we don't know much about that um, right now. But for the for the major general consumption yep. of cruising, the Carnival, the NCL, the Royal Caribbean, the Princess Celebrity. Uh, you oh, know. you know who is all inclusive oh, cool. though? Uh, the NCL Sky. Oh, and, and the some sun. some sailings on the NCL well, sun, uh, right? Which is the, the Cuba. I'm Cuba. not sure what what well, cruises there. Are. Okay, yeah, you know. uh, but those. I want to get the hate mail. Yeah, <laughs> but again, the general ones. No, you're not going to get your 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 specialty dining, your liquor, unless they're running a promotion. Now, some people would say that even the all inclusive isn't all inclusive on um, this like the sky and because i just saw your little thing about mm -hmm. specialty coffee yes because specialty coffee isn't included right right so and specialty dining isn't included right so again, so, again even again, those inclusive aren't all inclusive right now with virgin <laughs> voyages they're pretty we consider them pretty inclusive yeah, because you get tips are included, yes, you I get mean, Wi-Fi. It's like you're paying the price and that is it. There's no more extra. So okay, <laughs> so the next question is, I'm leery about going on a cruise because I'm afraid of getting fat. Oh, God, I feel your pain. That is my pain every day of my life. <laughs> so uh, for me, for me, I would say to this person... Do you yeah. let fear rule your life? Are you afraid that you're going to get in a car accident so you won't get in a car? Right? You're afraid to go on a cruise because you're going to get fat? Oh, I wouldn't be afraid of anything if there, Why was, be a, afraid if there was a cruise involved. Right. <laughs> so. Well, for swimming. Well, I'll stick my swim. feet in the water <laughs> so, you know, I can get halfway through that fear. So, we know that the, that the general rule of thumb or the rumor... 
or whatever you want yeah, to call it. Yeah, rumor mill has it. Is that the average person gains about a pound a day on a cruise. And I got to tell you, the last cruise. Pretty true. It wasn't a rumor. It was a fact. But but it's all in how you handle yeah. yourself on the cruise. Now, if you're going to get on the cruise and you're going to gorge yourself every day, every meal, and just sit there like a beached whale and do nothing. Right. And, and take the elevator every time. Right. And, you know, you know what I mean? And not move around. Right. Then you're going to gain weight. But there then are there's so many. Me. Yeah, there's so many things that are going on on the ship that can help you keep the weight off and so many healthy foods that are available right. to help you keep the weight off. So. There's low fat, there's low carb, there's dairy free, there's mm -hmm. gluten free options, uh, there's tons of salads and fresh fruits. Right. It's all in that. how you attack the subject. That's right. So where he gained the pound a day, I ended up losing right. a pound a day because I took the stairs, mm -hmm. I took the long way, I was walking around, I was doing things, I made healthy choices. Frank made healthy choices too, True, but, so I don't want to get the hate mail on that either. He's the one that's pushing me in my wheelchair. Right, so my level of activity is even heightened right. when we're on the cruise. Right. So, and, and, and for those of you that do what we don't, they have a gym. They have a gym. And a lot of the ships have basketball courts. And exercise classes yes. and yoga. Right. And they're specific. Is it, um, is it, who is it? Is it RCCL, Celebrity? Who has the spa stuff? The spa. Um, a lot of the cruise lines have the spa things. Um, yeah, it's like a spa booking package. Thing. You can tell we don't participate. In I have that. no idea what you're trying to say because they all have spa booking packages. Oh. But I think what you're thinking of is um, the Vitality. That's it. And I think that's the brand new Virgin Voyages again. No, Vitality is. Okay. Is, is well, Virgin new. Voyages has is all about health, and they have oh, all definitely. these things. I don't. I don't know. Oh, I don't God, know because we don't participate. Yeah, and it's on the, but it's one of the mainstream, and it's either. Uh, it's one of them. It's one of them, but it's going to If you know, me. comment below. Yeah, Vitality. Uh, you know we're going to look it up after we get off this the, video. Where they have the, uh, the smoothie drinks and the fresh fruit and all of that. That is one of the, the mainstream ones. But again, rock climbing walls and mm -hmm. basketball courts and ice skating rinks. And there's a lot of stuff going on. And that's just on the ship. Right. You get out in port. And there's tons of things oh, to there's do. There's tons of activities. If you want to be adventurous and active... That's going to help you keep the weight off. Do not let food make you afraid. I love food. I'm never afraid of it. Uh, <laughs> uh, as always, we want to thank you all for joining us for our Q&A. If you're not a regular subscriber, click that subscribe right. button. And Frank wants you not to be a ding -a -ling. That's right. Click that bell. Click the bell and you'll get automatic notifications every time one of our videos goes live, and that's every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday morning. Now, Frank's uh, cruise chat group on Facebook has been growing by leaps and bounds. Right. Uh, so please feel free to go there that's and right. join. Type it's in for cruise chat, cruisers. click on join, and we welcome everybody from every cruise line to share their experiences with us. But until next time... We want to remind everybody, <laughs> travel safe and cruise often.